joining me now with their take on this and other stories in the news are Rob Shooter, AOL's popular columnist, Carrie Keegan, host of VH1's Big Morning Buzz Live. Sounds like very sexual. <laughs> and Dean Obadala, comedian and star of the off-Broadway show This Ain't No Tea Party. Thank nice. you. Okay, in other political drama, Jon Stewart appeared on Fox News Sunday and got into a heated argument with host Chris Wallace about whether or not there's a liberal bias on The Daily Show and in mainstream media in general. Watch this. You are not making a political comment. You really think that's a political comment? Yes. You're insane. Really? Yeah, here's the difference between you and I. I'm a comedian first. My comedy is informed by an ideological background. There's no question about that. But the thing that you will never understand, and the thing that in some respects conservative activists will never understand, is that Hollywood, yeah, they're liberal, but that's not their primary motivating force. I'm not an activist. I'm a comedian. Okay, that's two examples of conservative. Is it a genetic defect that they have no sense of humor? <laughs> it's, it's unreal that they can't laugh at themselves. The party that's so much against regulation has, wants regulations when you're making fun of them. And on some level, I mean, John Stewart did a great job. He made Chris Wallace look like a human being for a couple of minutes in that interview <laughs> instead of a smug, pompous ass, which he usually comes across as. Yeah. So John was great. John was smart, John articulate, is, and funny. I think John is basically bipartisan because I mean, he'll take on the Democrats also. Do you think he has a political agenda? I think he'll take on both sides. He'll, he'll attack whatever he thinks is funny or what he thinks is unjust don't mess with him though this guy is so smart yeah. it doesn't matter who you are he's gonna win so this was a mistake trying to fight with John there was another clip I want to show you he takes on Fox viewers as well watch this I don't think our viewers are the least bit disappointed with us I think our viewers think finally right. they're getting somebody who tells the other side right. of the story. And one, in, and no, no, in no, the no, polls, no, no. One more, who one is more the example. most consistently misinformed media viewers? The most consistently misinformed? Fox. Fox viewers. Consistently. Can every poll. All right, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> It is. takes balls to go on Fox and say that their viewers are misinformed, doesn't it? He's got balls. Wow, good for him. Yes. And finally, Transformers director Michael Bay says the reason that Megan Fox was fired from the third installment of the franchise was because she compared him to Hitler in a 2009 interview. Here's my question: Who the f is Megan Fox? <laughs> Okay, now what does here's <laughs> okay here's what Fox said at the time. He's like Napoleon. This is what Megan Fox said. He's like Napoleon, and he wants to create this insane, infamous madman reputation. He wants to be like Hitler on his sets, and he is. Okay, Rob, what makes Hitler the go-to guy that makes all of these, like uh, you know, a lot of the Jewish uh, community get upset? They know what about him? Why is it Hitler? He, he he's a troublesome character. He's so, like, he's, 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 he's like really. He's, he's, he's tr I've never met him, but I hear he's a very bad man. And has no sense of <laughs> no sense you of don't humor. want to invite him to dinner. But it's I'm fascinating that Michael finally let the cat, cat out of the bag. In uh -huh. 2009, when she got dumped from the Transformer movies, she said it was creative differences. Now we know the truth. But I mean, why not Stalin, who killed many more people, or Pol Pot? He's not well, popular Genghis to Khan. go to. Because she... Hitler is like the, the hot one of, hot the, of one. the day, you know? Galliano did it. It just seems like he's I, the hot I got topic. In trouble. I got in trouble with the ADL, Abe Fox, one time, because I said that somebody was a Nazi. Uh, whoever it was, I forget who it was. I think he's dead now, whatever. <laughs> and they got mad at me, because you don't just throw around Nazi or Hitler, because they were so horrendous to the Jews that if you do it like that, it minimizes, you see? That's that's their point. She's a Napoleon. Should we give her credit for that? Napoleon? Napoleon. Yeah, that's a Megan Fox know Okay, Napoleon. thank you, guys. And catch Dean Obadala in the off-Broadway political comedy show, which is incorrect English, There Ain't No Tea Party. Thursdays at the Midtown Theater in New York. We'll be right back. There isn't... No